Welcome back to a new tutorial. This time I'm going to talk about converting a X-Pack from BTB, Bob Stroke Builder. I'm going to pick out one here that's an uh, oldie but a goodie, very uh, unique, and we'll click OK to that. It detects that it's an old X-Pack, would you like to automatically convert the objects, which basically loads them and saves them. So we just say yes to that. Now I know from experience this X-Pack wasn't really set up perfectly. Um, it didn't flag a number of the, the materials as single-sided um, or set to be double-sided, so I know that trees don't really render too well out of this one. Um, but um, what we've done there is enough to zip it and send it into RTB and start using it and then we can see the problems. So. We'll just flick into here, create a new project, go and add that X pack that just came in. Okay, let's switch to there and we can see some of our animals. Let's just right click there and zoom in a bit and just start adding these animals. Yep, there they are. They actually seem to, to work okay, um, reasonably well out of the box. Now, there are a few problems, I know, because I went through this before. Uh, if we have a look at grass, for instance, and I'll right-click and select all of those, zoom in a little bit closer, start planting the grass, kind of looks okay, until you sort of have a look around a little bit. You'll notice, and, and my focus at the moment is just on this large one, it's most obvious to me, um, it's a nice cross shape there, which is great, until you go around the other side of it. Now this is because the difference, the major difference between BTB and RTB X-Packs is the support for double-sided um, polygons. Um, in BTB you could get away with not having your polygons double-sided and your material flagged as double-sided. Now not all games support double-sided materials, um, polygons. Uh, Assetto Corsa doesn't, whereas R Factor did. So here we have to create our objects as if they're not going to be double-sided so they can be supported in all games. So let's just flick back into Xpacker. We go into these materials. We can't just flag them here because this is really just for R Factor 2 and even then it's not really supported because of the workflow at the moment. Um, and if we go into a set of course there is no such option. So what we need to do is go into the objects uh, for these um, particular ones that are having problems. Um, we'll notice our animals were okay, but the grass where it was single-sided polygons, um, then we need to go and use this little feature here, which is to create double-sided faces. So we click that and then click Save. It's that simple. So you'll notice as I click on each of these objects, you get a little bit of information, a bit of a warning that this object uses one-sided materials um, on the triangles. That it's good for enclosed objects like houses and giraffes, <laughs> but um, not good if your object is a grass or a tree. So we just create those double-sided um, faces for each of those objects. And I know also, I went through this before, this isn't actually a complex object, it's just named that way. Um, we'll create doubles for those as well. Won't miss one. Let's go back. Grab him. Grab him. So sometimes it's a matter of loading these into um, RTB and then seeing if that's going to work. So that's zipping away. It's created again. We'll need to create a brand new project um, so that we can load the, the latest version of this X-Pack. Of course when you create, when you tag these X-Packs it actually takes a copy of the X-Pack. Um, so if the X-Pack were to change in future it wouldn't kill your existing projects. Um, we should try and uh, keep objects the same name and materials and textures all the same name so that you can use newer versions of X-Packs. Um, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, so we go back to our grass, select all of our grass and click a few of these again. Now we should find... Now I must have missed one. I must have missed that one. Um, it's 
not showing but the others are so the process is working uh, but my brain obviously missed that one um, and if we go into trees with trees there large trees they're there but um, here's the second problem um, so the alpha testing that needs to happen on these to make it invisible you could go into the materials here each time and go and change this so that, I said of course I had alpha test applied we do that to each tree and it should be okay applied alpha test apply there we go it's gone and done it um, I didn't do one of them, um, but really we need to do this in our XPack so people don't have to be going and doing that. So again, it's back to the XPacker. Find those materials, um, trees, branches. I'm not sure about the the branches. It probably does need it. Um, and you would just select Alpha Test here and save um, on each of those. Alpha Test save. Alpha Test save. Yeah, the other thing that you'll need to cover when converting uh, these X packs from B2B to RTB is um, that the objects themselves have to have a, a group label. Um, and so if we go back to objects, we know that elephants um, under properties had a group label here of animal, and most of them actually did have a group label. Um, but our lines did not, so let's just go up here. I'm lazy, so I go copy and paste and save. Lion 2 didn't either. Paste, save. Zebras did, so they're okay. Let's zip that back. Okay. Wait for that to say that it's saved. Uh, file new, create a new one. Yep. And then we go back. X packs, copy in the new X pack, and now we should find that we have lions there too. Oh, look at that! Hey, lions. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all that you have to do um, to get things working. Obviously, there's some properties there that you may like to consider, um, which are, are new, um, such as what these um, purposes are. Um, that means that when you're going and looking for other materials, you can select those purposes here and there, then find them. At the moment, there's nothing coming up for objects because none of those materials are flagged for objects. Um, but aside from that, that's um, enough to get BTB objects up and running in RTB. Um, post any questions you have in the forums, that's where I look the most. Thanks for viewing.